happy ravioli day, everyone. Of course, it is also Wellness Wednesday, so we're doing a little bit of a tweak on your traditional ravioli. Um, we all know about the zoodles that you can make as spaghetti, but you can also make different kinds of noodles with um, one of these, this is a mandolin, or with a vegetable peeler. Um, so what we're doing is we're gonna use zucchinis um, and, and cut thin strips and kind of make a little uh, cross, fill it up with cheese and put it in a baking dish and let it go to town. So very simple recipe. Um, obviously, again, you can totally change this up, but it calls for an entire package, a 15 ounce package of ricotta cheese. It also calls for basil, fresh basil. There was none at the store, so I'm improvising. I have a little bit of Italian parsley. I'm throwing that in. Um, it's rosemary, some fresh garlic, and then we'll do a little bit of the dried basil. And then um, a nice heaping of Parmesan, Parmesan Reggiano. So we mix all of that up. And then we're gonna set it to the side while we prepare our zoodles. So cut the top and the bottom off. And mine opens up, I've already set it. I'll move it this way. You put this in here, and you can you kind of use that at the end. You just take it. Please be careful. Now, what we're gonna do? You make kind of a cross with your zucchini. Um, it, it probably would help a little bit to have a, a little bit bigger zucchini. Um, but you pile your cheese right in the middle. And don't be, don't be shy. Wrap that around. Wrap this around. There is your ravioli. And you just set it in your dish. So, yeah, this is a little bit time consuming, but gosh, not terrible. And just think about all of the goodness. I mean, you can kind of enjoy ravioli without any of those carbs, um, with extra added vegetables. Uh, you know, you can do this any way you want. You can put other things in the ricotta, you know, saute some onions and, or spinach, other goodies, mushrooms. So these all turned out pretty well, I think. They're, they're kind of stained. Just make sure you put those loose ends on the bottom. Um, and then, you know, for the sake of time, I choose a canned tomato sauce. Everything's better with a little more cheese, so I'm gonna throw just a scotch more Parmesan on top, and then a little salt and pepper. And then these bake for about 20 minutes, and your zucchini ravioli should be good to go, so I'm gonna pop them in the oven. I'll check back with you in a minute. So our zucchini ravioli's been in for about 20 minutes or so. Time to pop it out of the oven and check these bad boys out. So it is a little juicy because that zucchini does have a little bit of extra juice in it, a little water. Um, but, you know, you just scoop them out and put them on a plate. You've just got the sauce, you've got the ricotta, the fresh herbs. This I am going to keep in my repertoire. I'm pretty excited about this one today. So um, if you would like to put it in yours, all you have to do is head to 9and10news.com to find the recipe. Bon appetit. Happy ravioli day.